Okay, everyone, and we are back with part. Can't do it because we can't pick the lock. And Hunnigan would make a joke about that, except that I didn't let her. And Hunnigan would make a joke about that, except that I didn't let her because I just don't want to. Now these guys take him down easy. You can have them fall into water. Pretty basic. But then you lose the loot, so, so what? Also, I don't think they sit on top. Anyway, so they'll disappear underwater. And now it's time to finish off that blue medallion quest. So, uh, yep, 13. Uh, yeah, that should be 14. But sorry I had to end the part so early last time, guys. It's just, um, I was coughing too much, so, um, yeah, I had to quick end it. And this part's probably going to be really short then, so, uh, take the egg. And that's the first snake you'll meet, so if you don't knife him immediately, then it'll be a problem. Anyway, closure of the, uh, let's see, um, one sec. Yeah, closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent, a distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan and execute her. Ha ha ha. To the end. If it gets the in wrong hands. The world would become a totally different place than what Lord Sattler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sattler. Okay, um, sorry, I accidentally exited that. What do we have for Village for Isles? It's closure of the church, right? So, uh, yeah. Here. There's a key beyond the lake, but it should not be sa but it should be safe for now that the Del Laco has been awakened by our lord. We, uh, no one, will get across the lake alive. Ha ha ha, yeah. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll be a matter of time. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. There we go. And another box. This box usually doesn't have anything in it, and it wouldn't be nice for me. So, over here. Nice medallion. There you go. 15 out of 15. Which is exactly what we want. Yes, Aragabiyah. Take that. Okay, knife, 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 knife. There you go. Pretty easy, pretty basic. Now time to go battle some more of those nice crow guys. Remember the crow guys from Bioshock Infinite? No, not those crow guys, the other crow guys. They're actually real crows. So here's the thing about crows, though. For some reason, you can kill them simply with a flash grenade. So, if you just aim well enough, toss. There you go. Crows, yes. Take that. And one of them even gives you your flash grenade back. So, really, you're just getting all this free money. And who doesn't like free money? I mean, really, I think everybody loves free money. So, uh, here we go. Nice spindle. Over here, we got this giant door. It looks like the gate's securely shut. Well, you think? Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Okay, Leon. Now you're paranoid. Okay, he's not really paranoid. The real answer is that on the other side we have El Gigante, which we shall battle later. Just not yet. So in here, there you go. Spinel, handgun. In the middle cabin, there is nothing, so don't go in there. Here, you just got handgun. And that's pretty much it for this area. Now, most will just proceed forward that way. Don't do that. Here's an easy thing. Go down here and talk to the merchant first, because you can get the Punisher. Which I said, since we got all those medallions. You know, and apparently shooting medallions is valuable to a merchant. I can't tell you why, but apparently it is. 
What do you guys think of the merchant theme, though? I mean, it's kind of cool and eerie, but... Don't know. Anyway, it's almost time to actually wrap this part up. I really should have had this be the same part. It's just I had to end it because of my coughing fit thing. So, uh, we'll talk to the merchant first. Got some though. rare things on sale, stranger. You know, merchant, you look uh, kind of familiar. Okay, so what now it's time to selling? buy that gun. In order to buy the gun, though, you should sell your handgun. Sorry, Is handgun. Is that all, stranger? I used you for arm robbery at the beginning <laughs> of the game, you. but, uh, no, I can't do that anymore because you're gone. Is that all? <laughs> and Thank that's you. pretty much it. We have these two, uh, gems for the, uh, beer side that will add up to eventually make it worth 20,000, 20, which is going to be worth it. So, there you go, Punisher. Just buy that. It's worth 20,000, actually. So, uh, <laughs> we're just going to keep you. it. We're gonna keep it for now, and then we're gonna sell it to buy the red nine later. What are you of course, the buying? red nine takes up an extra space, so I think that's pretty much everything. Though we don't have anything to buy from him, and we're just gonna have to stick with being rich like we are. Mm. There we are, rich Leon, right? I mean, how much money do we have? Yes, uh, seventy-five and something thousand pesetas. It's got to be more than these guys make every year. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of this part. And I'm going to go take a break and come back and play some more. So we can get a bunch of more parts pumping out there. I'm really loving the support. Loving you guys. Like, you know, all, all this uh, time you've put in for watching my videos. I really thank you guys. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.